Hello, I'm Dr. Daniel Jackson, and behind me is a Stargate. Found in Giza, Egypt in 1928, we now know it was originally built millennia ago by an alien race who we call the Ancients. Over the next few hours, we'll be touching on some of the things you need to know about the Stargate and how it works. There are 39 symbols representing star constellations, as seen from Earth, capable of transporting people, objects, hundreds of thousands of light years, via an interstellar wormhole. Within the Milky Way galaxy, a seven symbol address is used. The first six symbols lock down a point in space, while the seventh represents the point of origin. When a connection is made between two stargates, an unstable energy vortex emerges from the gate and settles into the event horizon, or puddle, as we like to call it. Later, it was discovered that using an eighth symbol would actually dial another galaxy. It is believed an unprecedented amount of power is required to reach the near mythical nine chevron destination. Icarus Base was established on a planet discovered two years ago to have a uniquely powerful core made of the mineral Nequadria. The entire purpose of the project is to hopefully one day dial the nine chevron address found in the ancient database. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Jackson. Now you've heard the term hyperspace for years in sci-fi movies and television shows, but what does it really mean? Well, basically, we live our lives in three dimensions plus time. That's another DVD. Hyperspace, also called subspace, is another dimension in which certain laws of physics, like the speed of light or the effects of relativity, don't apply. Now, by entering hyperspace, a ship can travel vast distances at speeds many times the speed of light and return to normal space once it reaches its destination. The actual math of how it all works is still highly classified, and I'm not completely sure I understand it myself, but it's how most advanced races get around the galaxy when they're not using a Stargate. Hi, I'm Daniel Jackson. The Ancients were once a race of humans known as Alterans. They left their galaxy to avoid a war with another race of humans called the Ori. They flew to the Milky Way millions of years ago and first landed on the planet Dakara. From there, they made their way to Earth, which they would call home for some time. The Ancients are the inventors of the Stargates, and much of the advanced technology that was later usurped and used by the Gua'uld to enforce their rule. Prior to that, the Ancients left for Pegasus, and then, ultimately, some of them returned to the Milky Way, where it is believed they used their knowledge to restart human life as we know it on Earth. At some point, they evolved both physically and mentally to the point where they no longer required their human bodies. Which brings me to my next topic. My name is Dr. Daniel Jackson. Ascension is an extremely advanced evolutionary process whereby the human consciousness becomes pure energy and actually rises to a higher plane of existence. While it takes several thousand years of evolution for humans to reach the point where they can attain the state of being naturally, a less evolved person can actually be ascended by other ascended beings. In fact, it happened to me once. I have little memory of it now, but I can tell you ascension comes with a much greater understanding of the universe and the forces of nature within it. The power that comes with that knowledge is potentially dangerous if misused, as we have seen with the Ori. It is for this reason that ascended ancients now have a strict rule about non-interference in our human existence. I could go on about that, but we would probably have to get another tape. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Jackson. When we first stepped through the Stargate over a decade ago, we found that the galaxy was dominated by a race of beings known as the Goa'uld, a parasitical, snake-like creature which burrows into the body of a human host and takes complete control. It was the Goa'uld Ra who Jack O'Neill and I defeated on the very first mission through the Stargate. Ra, along with many others of his kind, had posed as an ancient Egyptian god in order to enslave a transplanted human population. In fact, the identity, iconography, and wardrobe of pretty much every ancient god in human history has been purloined by the Goa'uld to dominate and enslave humans on other planets for thousands of years. That is until Stargate Command, along with the allies of Earth, managed to defeat the Goa'uld in the early 21st century. I'm Dr. Daniel Jackson. The Lucian Alliance is an organization of humans from a number of sovereign planets who have taken control of the resources and technology left behind after the Goa'uld were defeated. 
Not unlike the Mafia or street gangs from our own fair planet, the Alliance is made up of power-hungry criminals who use violence as a means of enforcing their dominion. Leadership is tenuous and constantly changing, but the association itself is formidable and must be taken seriously. They control a sizable army and numerous Hatak vessels, or former Goa'uld motherships, as well as a fleet of smaller gliders and bombers. The Lucian Alliance is also known for ensuring the servitude of less fortunate followers through the distribution of an addictive corn-like food crop known as Kasa. <laughs>